Okay guys, I showed you on my other video on my my gear for the for the Phenom 3 and so I'm going to show you how to connect the HDMI HDMI output for the Phenom 3. I know this is something that everybody is looking for and this is the best solution I found right now. Uh I've tried different ways of uh having the the connection and even uh, for for Android system you know this is the HDMI that connects it has those two connections on the other side okay just for you to know this is the HDMI right and this was supposed to be the one that goes in on a charger slash video output for a regular Samsung tablet whatever and then this you would assume that this going behind uh, the transmitter uh, it would work no because this only uh, goes through the power here it doesn't transfer data so that's what you need to connect the between the transmitter and the, the tablet so you're gonna get a no connected screen on your tablet so this doesn't work the other solution I tried it was getting the Acer because I needed a, a cheap solution right so I got the Acer uh, tab 7 I think tab 8 um, that has the HDMI output which is the micro HDMI output but I got uh, a big big problem with the uh, connecting to my uh, to the Phenol 3 while I was in the air and I lost not control but I lost the connection from the the, the, the camera tablet so I couldn't see this the, the the camera on the screen of the tablet so and then it, it was asking me if I wanted to return to home so I was a bit scared scary but I I I I was in uh, I was seeing the the the, the drone the Phenol 3 so it was okay but if I was far that I couldn't see the the drone or something like that you know I would probably lost control and I so anyways so I'm saying that the Acer didn't work for me and then I got this one which is the Nvidia Shield I'm gonna show it to you this works really good. And it comes with the, the HDMI, uh, mini HDMI output, which is this one. And so it works. So yeah, so I'm going to set it up and I'm going to show it to you how it works here with the Cinemizer. I'm going to be using the Cinemizer to show you the, the output. And I forgot to show you guys about this cable. This, I was trying to find micro HDMI to micro HDMI. I found only one place when I got there. The guy said that they make a, made a mistake on a website and it was micro HDMI to full HDMI. So, well, anyways, the Cinemizer comes with the, this adapter here, which is micro to full female. And then this was the, the male. This is the Mayo full HDMI to a Mayo micro HDMI. So, you know, at the end, it's I didn't want to make this connection here, but that was the, the only solution I found. So here, this is the battery pack. It's so light for the Cinemizer. They could have made a bit um, heavier probably and make it gives more to give more time of um, usage for the goggles but well whatever so here connects the micro to micro uh, okay so I'll turn on the phantom 3 so first okay the transmitter the phantom so 
so. So I'm not gonna do anything because I'm not gonna fly. So I'm not gonna check anything. So here's the camera, right? I'm gonna just zoom in on the tablet. So you can see the camera. Beautiful, working fine. So I'm gonna show you the Let's see if you can see. I'm gonna turn it on, the cinemizer. And let's see if you are able to see the screen. Uh, okay, there you go. So I'm gonna be moving the helicopter. Let's see if you can see the delay that the this gives it's almost none I would say so I think this is the best solution I found I know the Nvidia is a bit expensive comparing to the other tablets but um, but it's a really good system like it's really fast it was made for games so let's so see I don't know if you can see everything perfectly but it has a really good resolution yeah I won't be able to adjust but yeah so just to show you guys the it is possible a lot of people are trying to find a way of uh, getting this to work and it's nice okay take care guys and have a good day